Hi everybody and welcome back. Um, I just have a fun little window shopping trip to share with you. Um, I just got back from a trip in Southwest Florida. Jay and I went to Naples. He had a work conference and I decided to tag along with him. And it was really great because my brother now lives in Southwest Florida. So I was able to see my brother and his family in his new home. And we just had such an incredible time. This is a really special part of Florida. I've never been, I've been to Orlando, to Daytona, to Miami, but I've never been to this area of Florida and it was so wonderful. So we're gonna do some window shopping. I had a friend who told me that off Saks Fifth Avenue, which is basically um, Saks's outlet, carried La Mer foundation, which is my absolute favorite. So I was on the hunt for La Mer and I always have fun looking for luxury handbags or shoes or just checking out the luxury scene and seeing what I might get a deal on. Um, I ended up getting one item during my trip and then at the very end of the video, we hit one last Goodwill that didn't make it into my other video, which is featured on my other channel, Lori's Boston Found, where we went to the Goodwill outlet and I like thrifted my heart out. So there was just one stop that I didn't get because it was on our way to the airport. We hit the outlets. So I am just going to let the vlog take over. I hope you enjoy window shopping with me in Southwest Florida and I'll meet you back at the end to just do a really quick haul with a few items that I got at Goodwill. Enjoy. This is the resort in Naples that we stayed at for Jay's conference. It was so beautiful. Um, I spent a lot of alone time. I did a lot of thrifting on my own. I went to the Goodwill outlet in Fort Myers, had some time by the pool, and when I got back, I did a quick haul outside of our room. Okay, this was the original haul that I filmed for my other video. Um, and when I listened back to it, the sound was so terrible because of the wind and the birds and the elements. So I had to start all over again, but that was that footage. And here is the aftermath of me packing my suitcase back up. This is all thrifted items. If you want to see these, you can check out my other channel. I spent so much time out on this balcony. This was the view during the day and then this was sunset. So there were two off Saks locations and uh, Jay was on a call, so he was working most of this trip. We got to spend some time together in between meetings and dinners and whatnot, but I snuck away and came to this location. These are uh, Valentino shoes. Gucci, a lot of Gucci shoes. Um, you'll see some Saint Laurent and it's just fun, fun to check out the prices. I feel like I view so many luxury items online, at the Real Real, on the websites, uh, Neiman Marcus, Saks, those types of sites. And so it's just fun to see things in person. I really liked these. They were also my size, but they looked pretty narrow. Um, I've been really into the brand Saint Laurent and I have yet to buy a, any major piece from them. I have a little uh, credit card holder, but that's it. Uh, these Jimmy Choo shoes, I thought kind of had some 90s vibes with the square toe. Some of these shoes are crazy. Look at, look at the platform on these Gucci's. Gucci is just so over the top with some of their stuff, but it's fun to, it's fun to window shop Gucci. I don't know that I would ever wear most of these styles, but they are definitely conversation pieces. These chunky sandals were just out of this world. <laughs> They're so over the top, but really fun. I thought these were adorable. This section I thought was really interesting as well. When I used to work at American Girl, they had one of these boutiques inside of Lord & Taylor where you could get vintage or just pre-owned items. And as a girl who shops pre-owned all the time, I was really excited to see this. They had some Louis Vuitton, um, they had some Prada, some Gucci, and yeah, it was cool to see. This Burberry bag has the new uh, TB logo on it and this is a tribute to the founder Thomas Burberry. He was born in 1835 and he founded the company at the ripe old age of just 21. Um, so these are really cool pieces and a beautiful tribute to the founder but I can't help but think of Tory Burch when I see those bags so I think I like the classic Burberry logo better.
When Jay was done with his conference, I picked him out in front of the resort we stayed at and we walked around Tin City uh, for a brief moment. And then in the evening of that night was my brother and my nephew and Jay, and this is sunset at Marco Island. This was such a highlight, just absolutely beautiful. And we ate dinner right on the ocean at a place called Quinn's. We are at the Miramar Outlets, heading over to the off sacks here to see if I have any more luck than I had yesterday. I did see some fun designer things, and sorry, there's a file in the back of me. It's probably super loud. Okay, I moved a little bit. So I'm looking for some white sneakers, and I'm looking for the La Mer Foundation. Hopefully I can find it. kind of drawn to the yellow swoosh on these sneakers, but they were a size 10. Anything on this discount wall was 20% off. I loved the little tan accents on these, um, but in the end, I thought that the heel was a little much for my style. I texted my kids, I'm like, are these terrible? And nobody responded, <laughs> so I put them back. I was actually tempted by these, which <laughs> I don't know. I just thought they were fun and I thought they would go with a lot of my black stuff. But then I found these cute pink ones. Yes, I got those pink sneakers. So much for white, chunky. I got pink and chunky. They were so cute. Not sure where Saks is, but I'll get there eventually. All right, I found this Gucci dress tunic. I'm not sure what it was, but it didn't look great on me. I could not get the collar to stay open and I just wasn't into it being like so tight. Um, but it was $999 and I'm like, I wanna try this on. I loved the color, um, but yeah, it was not for me. I left it behind. This Tory Burch caftan was gorgeous, but this was pretty pricey. Well, we are on our way to the airport and I'm looking to score something fun for the road. Let's see. I had high hopes for this store, but I really didn't find much. I decided to grab this Lily Pulitzer sweater um, and I just wanted to give you an idea of some of the pricing of this particular store. I saw this row of Ferragamos. I thought these were relatively interesting and they were $25 um, and I think the rest of them were $19.99 or that $25 price. These were Donald Pliners. What was the price on these? Oh, $10. That's not as bad. Um, but I didn't have too much luck, but I will show you what I did get. These were both fit flops. They were a little dirty, so I left those. All right, so I didn't really find too many things at that Goodwill, um, but I did find this, and I thought this was so cute. This is actually Wild Fable. This is for me. It is a size extra large, and it's just got this deep V with some sheer sleeves. I just think this is so cute. I really like this style on me, like a low V and then like a high-waisted, kind of an empire waist look. It's got the sleeves, but it's still very summery. Um, it also has like some pleating. This is just Wild Fable from Target. 
I thought this was so cute. And I wanna say this was like six or seven dollars. And I might wear it to Rocco's graduation. It's just ever so slightly a little shorter than I would like, but I feel like if I had a really good tan and just wore flats, I could probably get away with it. Ooh, it's raining outside and like the light just like came into the room. Anyways, I really thought that this pattern was cute and couldn't beat the price. This is the Lily Pulitzer sweater that I showed. Um, this was another thing that, I don't know, I was on the fence about it a little bit, but I've been reading a little about how the old tag Lily Pulitzer does well, like people are seeking out some of the vintage pieces from Lily. I don't know that this sweater is that much of a big standout, except I liked the fact that it was a cardigan and that it was a size large and the price was right. So maybe if I resell this, I'll get like maybe $30 for it. For those of you who might not know, I am a reseller and that was where I started my YouTube journey is with my reselling channel, which is Lori's Boston Found. So um, this portion of the video is just kind of left over because I did not film this uh, thrift with me section for my other video. I didn't get it done in time, but I will be listing that in my Poshmark closet and on eBay. And then these are the sneakers I got for myself and I love them. This was kind of a splurge for me because these were, they were $160 or $169 and they were $129 on sale, but everything on the wall was 20% off. And then at the register, if I gave my email, I got an additional 15% off. And then I also got like little ankle socks too, but all in it came to $95, which for go who thrifts for a living, it was a little bit of a pill to swallow, but I do that. I wear like super inexpensive thrifted things with high-end stuff all the time. Not that this is high-end, but you know what I mean, like retail. So I really love these. They're like the perfect pink. And I wear a ton of black, but pink is probably my favorite color. So, you know, if I'm wearing a black shirt, black leggings or jeans, kind of like I was wearing in the um, store, the pink is kind of like my pop of color. So that's all for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I cannot wait to get back to Southwest Florida, to Naples, to Marco Island. It was just such a beautiful trip. And now we are back. Rocco has his prom this week. We have so many things going on um, that are coming really fast. So it was nice to have a little bit of a getaway before things get really busy around here. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me today as I did some window shopping in Florida. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, and subscribe if you want to hang out with me here over at time with Tata and I'll be back soon with a new video. Actually, my next video is going to be a Louis Vuitton unboxing from a gift that I got for Valentine's Day. It's in back of me. And I haven't opened it yet because I ordered an insert, like a, a, a special insert. You'll, you'll understand when I show the video, but it's on its way. It's coming from Milan. I had no idea when I ordered it on Etsy that it was in Italy. So I expected it sooner, but it's getting closer to my home. So I'm hoping that that will be my next video. So stay tuned and I'll see you back soon. Bye everyone.